Grow your cleaning business. Make more money. Have more time. This is the Profit Cleaners Podcast with your hosts, Brandon Condry and Brandon Shane. Welcome back, everyone, to another episode of the Profit Cleaners. You're in the house to learn from the top 1%, the only place to learn from the top 1% of cleaning business right. owners. And you're in the right place, guys. We're going to mm-hmm. show you guys how to win, how to take it to the next level in this market, in the cleaning business. Um, so it's going to be awesome. So let's get started. I'm Brandon Shane. I'm joined by my co-host. Brandon Condry. That's me. That's right. And today, we're, we've got another exciting episode. We're going to be talking about the zippy car versus the steam locomotive, right? And how your business is geared for success. So let's start out this episode and tell you guys a little bit of, little of a story, a little background story, <laughs> um, maybe about how, how this started. Sure. Talking about the family dinner. Yeah, how yeah. So we, we'd started the business. It was going. <laughs> but... You know, we were, I think this was like eight months in, nine months in, Mm -hmm. and we still weren't paying ourselves. That was obviously not the plan. That's not what we pitched to our wives. Hey, we're both going to quit our full-time jobs and this steady paycheck in Mm -hmm. exchange for nothing. (laughs) Right. So I I remember we at that meeting, I was trying to explain that there's a lot of moving parts. We got to do this and that. And your wife, Julie, was like, I get it. We're used to zippy cars that drive around really fast, and this is like a big train. I'm like... That's, I mean, yeah, that's a great point. That's exactly it. Like, it, it takes a lot of momentum to get mm-hmm. it going, but it's really hard to stop once it gets cranked. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. So, yeah, it's a really good analogy. I like metaphors, and I'm very visual. So, to think of it that way, uh, you know, when we very first started, Brandon and I had both started different businesses, you know, over the last five or ten years before that. Right. And a lot of the ones I had been involved in personally were internet businesses, which mm-hmm. you can kind of liken to the fast, zippy sports car. Yeah, you, you, you put up a website, you can get it up in a day with a template, yeah. you're getting leads, you paid 500 bucks for ads, and you've got your database going. Yeah, exactly. You know, you can, it's like, you see it on the online all the time. It's like, you push button, and you got a website, and you're making sales overnight, and yep. uh, it sounds really good. Sometimes it's actually too good to be true, oftentimes, but uh, the, the idea of it is, another analogy is the fence. You know, if you can build a fence or a wall and erect that thing really quick in one day, chances are it's going to blow over really fast the next right, day, right? right? So if you spend months and months and months building a really solid wall with reinforcement and concrete and retaining wall and all that stuff, it's going to be really hard to knock that thing down, right? So that's what we're talking about here is the different business models here and and how you can actually create a hybrid in your cleaning business, which is more of the old school traditional route, traditional old school business, and how you can make it a hybrid and kind of what we've done, which which is add the, you like to say, Silicon Valley. Yeah, yeah, bring bring some Silicon Valley to the mom and pop. Mama Pop Arena, yeah. Yeah, and that's what we've done with our cleaning business, and we're living in such a great time and age like to do this stuff, so you might yeah, as well. I mean, you, you as a cleaning business owner are a target market for a number of softwares. There are CRMs and payment mm-hmm. platforms and scheduling and this and that. So yep. the nice thing about that is that you have a choice of what bits and pieces you want to bolt onto the train to make it better, faster, shinier, blinkier, like yeah. whatever. <laughs> yeah, and so if you think about a lot of local service businesses, they're just really old school. Even even still today, if you go and look in your city, a lot of people, or maybe even yourself, you might still be using a pen and paper, paper yeah. to, to do your estimates. Yeah, you, or, ever, you ever got an estimate um, from a plumber or an HVAC guy, and they come in and right. hand scrawled it on a carbon copy, like, here's your copy, here's my copy, so mm-hmm. I know that you didn't change the numbers, I can verify it. Like, well, yeah. no, I don't, we just did that with an email, so. Right. Yeah. Yeah, and so it's like, you know, people appreciate that. They they know that's like the local service or the local business vibe sometimes. But if you can elevate that to the next level, still give them that local service they, they love and enjoy. They appreciate local businesses, but give them better experience. Give them right. a better, more efficient, happier time working with you guys. And that's what it's all about. So we're not just doing this to like, be like fancy and add on these all these sure, extra sure. gizmos and shiny objects. It's actually really important to streamline your business and make sure you get out of your own way and add yeah, tools I mean, and things that make make it more efficient. We want to give so. you the ability to scale. So yeah. I mean, yes, you could scale the paper. I could go get more fancy carbon copy prints and you take some and I'll take some and we can cover half the ground. Yeah. But if it's all digitized, there's mm-hmm. a paper trail. You can assign it to people in task managers. Yep. You can verify that it got this, that, or the other thing. And then you can automate stuff. We use a lot of Zapier in San Diego Green Clean. And the idea is if customer accepted the estimate, it'll automatically do X, Y, Z and assign it to so-and-so within Monday, which is the, the task manager we use. Yeah. So 
there's lots and lots of ways to do it. So yeah. the other thing too is that when you when you start behaving that way, mm-hmm. when you show up to customers, hmm. you give off the air that you're not messing around. Like you yeah. are taking this seriously. Look, I have a tablet. I took photos of the things that you asked me to take photos of. You said, don't touch this painting. I put, took a photo of it. I put it in the estimate so that when the cleaning team comes out, yeah. they got the same set of pictures that says, don't touch this or make sure we do that better or whatever it may be. Yeah. And it also brings this whole other mindset and this whole other vibe that when you're working with you know, tools and things that elevate your brand, elevate your systems, uh, it just brings this whole overall feel that when you're walking in someone's house to do the estimate or talking with them, they, they feel that. You know, They feel yeah. like you're a bigger business. They feel like you've got better systems than the other guy, and they'd rather work with someone that has it together. Right. So, Plus, I mean, we're in 2021, so you don't want to be doing the things the way that it was done in the 1960s. Mm-hmm. So you will get... You will you will excel at getting customers that are in the modern age if you are being a modern business. Like you want to get mm-hmm. our target market is families with young kids. You, you are not going to find a family that has young kids that don't have smartphones and tablets, and they're already used to interacting with Gmail and FaceTime and all mm-hmm. these different apps. So by you telling them, like, look, I'm going to come in and do it with an app, they're they're in the system. They know. They know how to use that stuff. If yeah. you show up with the mm-hmm. paper and the pen, and you're like, okay, make sure that you leave us a check on the table before you leave, they're going to look at you like, what? Like, I even... I, this is a, yeah. we're, we're at the age right now where we were kind of a split where <laughs> I did have a checkbook. I used a checkbook. I learned how to balance a checkbook in high school. Um, but there are people that are getting very high paying full-time jobs right now at various places that have never used a checkbook. It has all been yeah. digital payments with Venmo or Cash App or debit cards and you, they may even have checks. So it's just that type of thing, like get rid of the paper, get a screen, be, yeah. be more technologically proficient. Yeah, absolutely, guys. So this is really like more a shift in mindset too to like the big picture, long-term thinking because when I started, got into starting businesses and Brandon, you might feel the same way, but a lot of times you just want to make some money, right? A lot of time you're short, chasing that short-term profit and a lot of times that gets you in trouble um, because with the internet businesses, for example, you just have a lot of things that are out of your control. It's Yeah, it sounds sexy to build an app or a website or an e-commerce brand or something, um, however, overnight Google or Amazon could take out your algorithm. Oh, they could take, take your rankings out. It's out of your control, right? Like you might be doing really good. You might even be making six figures a month with one of those businesses. Um, but you could wake up tomorrow and there's so many variables out of your control. Uh, everything from a, a manufacturer in China can no longer ship your thing to the Amazon warehouse to, yeah. Uh, literally like Amazon or Google have they've done this to my business before where the, the rankings just are not there overnight and now you're screwed because that's where all your sales are coming from yeah um, the, other so, thing that, the other thing that Amazon does too is like let's say that you did have a product <clears throat> that it was great and it was mm-hmm. selling really really well on Amazon yeah Amazon has a program called Amazon basics where they will just yeah. copy it they'll be like well that one's really great it uses high quality stuff and yada 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 yep we're gonna knock it off using really really cheap stuff and then that'll be the amazon recommended one so if you got all your eggs in one basket whether that basket's google ads facebook marketplace amazon fulfillment yeah that you don't control that system someone can yank the rug out from underneath you yeah and there's a very low barrier to entry like literally literally anybody can go start an online business tomorrow, right? But to start a cleaning business, it's gonna take a little more time. It's gonna take hiring local people. It's gonna take setting up systems and softwares and things that that actually requires some real work. But the idea is that long-term thinking, that big picture mindset, it's gonna take longer to get going but it's gonna be really hard to knock down and it's gonna be really that's hard it. to slow down. That's the steam locomotive. So that's yep. that part of the beginning when you got, you're got you getting your skin in the game. I need to buy a car, I rented a building, yep. we paid a, we got the website up, we got phones to operate on, we bought all the cleaning stuff. All that stuff is spinning up the boiler on a steam locomotive to get it going. And then once yep. it's going, it's huge, it weighs a ton, it takes a mile to stop a train with the full brakes on. Yeah. So that's the idea is you're gonna build up the business momentum by being in it like being really serious about it and then just you just keep going and people are going to recognize that if you mm-hmm. showed up and you're like hey i have a side <laughs> gig i hired my sister to clean the house do you want it and they're like uh i need like i needed some reliability to make sure that you're going to be here yeah. week after week and do what i need you to do yeah but if you show up with a uniform it's got your logo on it you got this tablet we're really professional and you're they're going to ask questions like how are you going to clean this i know exactly how to clean that mm-hmm. that type of mindset that type of uh, proficiency will come across so that they will know that 
you're the real deal. And that will come across even against like the super small neighborhood house cleaner. Those people may have been cleaning for 15 years and mm -hmm. they are amazing, but because they showed up in a janky car with some hodgepodge bits and pieces of equipment, it just doesn't look the same as a company that is really knowing what they're doing. They, yeah. When you show up like that, the customer knows that you're training people on the back end, you've got the right tools, you're testing tools to make sure that you're up to date on that stuff. Yeah. All those things will come across loud and clear. Yeah, so really guys, what we're talking about is creating the local old school business model, but adding these like zippy car features to it. These, uh, it's kind of making a hybrid of it, right? So it's that train from Back to the Future 3 that flies. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. That, that's what I was trying to, there you go. Boom, so, done. Yeah, so really guys, it's all about being all in on your business. Uh, you know, a lot of these online businesses are things that you can set up really quickly that's even like an MLM or something you can just join and host a party and sell a bunch of things. Like it sounds, it sounds enticing maybe, yeah. but it's short-term thinking, it's short-term mindset, it's those quick profits, and that's never gonna leave you in a good place. Yeah. So start thinking long-term, start thinking big picture thinking, go all in. We always say burn the ships, right? Don't leave yourself options and things you can go back to. Burn the ships. If you got a job, quit your job, go all in on your business and make it the local, that, that steam locomotive and add, yeah. some, add some zippy car features to it so it can go faster. Or if you already have but, a cleaning business and you found us because you're just looking to improve, do it. What can you tweak right away? What software can you add? Can you figure out a way to text customers? Can you figure out a way to mm -hmm. send online payments? Yeah. There's lots of different ways that you can tweak the already existing one. Like we've said it before mm -hmm. so many times, like the idea between starting the cleaning business is that if you take the unsexy business, mm -hmm. we're not going to get venture capital for starting a cleaning business. Right. But if you take the, the Silicon Valley into the unsexy business, that's how you end up with the train that flies. <laughs> yeah. And if you think about the old school way that traditional businesses, old, like local businesses still market and used to only market was yellow pages yep. and direct mail. direct mail and just word of mouth, right? Even our mentor up in Denver, it took him like 20 years to get almost where we're at now because he doesn't do much marketing. But if you can add some new age marketing, some new media strategies, yeah. some Facebook, some Google ads, some next door ads, find out where people are hanging out online. That's where people are at more than ever. You just got to show up in front of those yeah. eyeballs. And a lot of people aren't engaging. A lot of the franchise, a lot of the big companies, I don't know if they're lazy or they just, they don't have the, I don't even know what it is, but they're not using all these tools to their highest advantage. Like you guys can use, you can be quick and nimble and move faster than yeah. a lot of these big guys that are just not utilizing them to their full potential. There's an so. example there. So we have a local magazine. I'm sure you have one. It's called Albuquerque the Magazine. You'll have one in your city. And they do a best of the city competition every year and mm -hmm. we win our category all the time. Uh, but in that magazine, one of the big franchises, one of the maids companies, they pay for this double page spread. So when you <laughs> open the magazine, you get this double page spread front and center every month. That yep. is $8,000 a Crazy. month Crazy. for this one little ad. And so it's great that people are probably reading that magazine and they're gonna do it. I don't buy the magazine and I'm in the magazine from time to time. Like I yeah. buy the copy that when we get it, we look at it, but for $8,000, if you had put that towards, that's a year's worth of super solid digital media buy if you got it dialed in. Right. You, if you put eight grand into a digital media strategy with a consultant to help you do it, mm -hmm. man, you'd be flying. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, just try to think outside the box. Like think, do something differently. If you've done yeah. direct advertising, we always spend 1500 bucks a month on direct mail. Change it up, man. Like, try, try something different. Yeah. And we actually have some cool uh, videos and stuff that show you guys how to switch this up and actually get free advertising. You can actually trade. We actually trade with our direct mail guy mm -hmm. here in town. We clean his house and we get free marketing for that. So, yeah. think outside the box. Think, think of ways you can trade your marketing. Cleaning is a great way to barter because people need cleaning all the time. Everyone yeah. you talk to needs it, right? So, Think of ways to be creative and then start thinking of ways that are outside the box. Don't, I mean, if you look at your competitors, maybe they are using billboards and radio and all this old school traditional media. It kind of still works, but it doesn't work as good as the new school stuff. And in the new school stuff, is cheaper it's more effective so like google ads our best performing ads yep. facebook right behind it next door is coming up behind that when we very first got on online and started using a lot of these we, we got online with like home advisor and thumbtack just to get quick leads and stuff and we had to always be on it but guys you that's the beauty of being a local business you can be quick and nimble the playing field has been le leveled with new technology yeah. so use those to your advantage and exactly. leverage them to grow your business because the big guys they're all fat and you know, the slog what is that saying the, the hogs get slaughtered 
whatever. It's because people. <laughs> no, literally. I know, I know. Yeah, I don't know what the saying is. But I don't know like, what the saying is either, but I get what you're saying. Yeah. yeah, it's like people get fat and lazy and they stop taking action and they're like, oh, I'm comfortable. I don't need. But you might be hungry, right? Right. So you're going to be hungry. You're going to be willing to do the extra work to go the extra mile yeah. to use that stuff for your advantage. So, so yeah, the, the quick and nimble thing, that's the zippy car. You're a local business. You can do what you want. You're not beholden to a franchise. If yeah. you spent $8,000 on a on a print advertising and it didn't work out yeah you can't take it back yeah. like it's done yeah if you spent 400 bucks on next door and it didn't pan out for you then don't spend that 400 dollars next month like you yeah. can you can always change that or if something mm -hmm. comes out of left field all of a sudden like instagram ads are hitting really hard in this one group in my town like let's pay for an influencer to make a post about it like yeah yeah think about that think about contacting someone directly and just telling them that like Look, I'll clean your house. We had a radio advertiser actually pitch us on this. They wanted us to clean the house of one of the DJs of the morning show. And then they would tell everybody on the radio, like, oh, I had my house clean. It was amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Part of the pitch from the, from the ad guy was that it doesn't sound like an ad because people know that it sounds like an ad. Yeah. So I'm not saying go buy radio stuff, but I'm saying there's lots of options when you start looking around. Yeah. So be the zippy car. Yeah. Attached to the locomotive. Absolutely. And the beauty of a lot of the, the strategies that are, that are online that are a little bit more zippy strategies you can add is you don't have to go all in and be like, oh, like with a radio ad or something else, you might have to spend 5000 or $1,000 or all, everything all up front, right? Just to yeah. get it going. With these online strategies, which we're, we teach a lot, of, check out our other videos, check out our 10x course if you guys really want to dive deep into that. Yeah, the course will dial um, it in for you on, yeah. on how, to, how to actually plan the campaigns, but... Yeah. What you're saying is like if you if you, you do just, the digital ads, you can tweak it. Yeah, so, you can start with a hundred bucks, you know, and you can yeah. see if it works adjust and if it doesn't the, work. Adjust the bid rates. And yeah. if you got one that hits, like, okay, we know that the bid rate of this and it hits at this time, we'll, we'll spend more money on that. Yeah. That's the whole point. If you do like yeah. a 2080 analysis, a Pareto principle, mm -hmm. that you can get 80% of the performance of your traditional ads That's by investing 20% into something that you've never done before, but you got to you got to throw some spaghetti at the wall and see what's going to work here. And yep. we'll help you do it through the course if you want to check that out. Yep. But otherwise, just keep listening to the podcast and we got you there too. That's that, that's right. So so hopefully that helped you guys out. Um, this analysis of the Zippy car, the steam locomotive. Make a hybrid, guys, and think long term. That steam locomotive, it might take a little longer to get going, but it's so worth it. Because yeah, it's, it's hard to stop. It's hard to stop, and it's really you're really building that legacy. You're not only affecting your local community, having an impact, but it's long term, guys. These these businesses don't go away. I mean, you see them in your city and town. They're, they've been there for 20, 30, 50 years. Some mm -hmm. of these local businesses, uh, service businesses especially. So um, it's for the long haul. So develop that long term mindset. Right. Start thinking big picture, and hopefully this helps you guys to yeah. win, to win, take it to the next level. So all right. So subscribe, like, comment below. Let us know if we didn't yeah. cover something. Do you know of some new Zippy Car software that we should have talked about that we didn't? Yeah. Hit us up in the comments and maybe we'll talk about it on the next episode. Yeah. Uh, you can find us at ProfitCleaners.com. You can find links to all of our social accounts there. Uh, we're big on Facebook these days. We've got a private Facebook group in there that you can come join. And yeah. We're on YouTube now, obviously. We're shooting, oh, yeah, here shoot, we are. shooting videos. Yeah. So, so in the meantime, videos. keep it clean. Keep it clean. Thanks for joining us today. To get more info, including show notes, updates, trainings, and super cool free stuff, head over to ProfitCleaners.com. And remember, keep it clean.